Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are going to discuss problem number 206 of Lead Code. The name of the problem is Reverse Linked List. The problem statement is fairly straightforward. We have to reverse a singly linked list. Let us have a look at the structure of the linked list given to us. So here the data will be of type integer. There will be a pointer of type list node which will point to the next node. We are also given three constructors, one with no value. The default value will be zero and next pointer in that case will become null. If we are passing a value, then the value will become x and next pointer will be null pointer. If we are giving both the value and the next pointer, then it will initialize the node accordingly. Now let's take an example and try to understand the problem. So we are given a linked list like this and after reversing we should get and the head will now become 5 initially it was 1 as you can observe here we have reversed the links present between any two nodes except for the null and the last node so this question can be solved using two approaches, the iterative one and the recursive one. Let us first begin with the iterative approach. Let us say we have a linked list like this. To reverse the linked list, we basically have to reverse the link present between the two nodes. Now let us say we have two pointers. and name it as previous. Previous is pointing at node A, another one current and current is pointing at node B. Right now we have previous next pointing to current and to reverse the link we have to make current next is equal to previous once we perform this operation we will be getting that means the information of the next pointer of B node is lost and to reverse the complete link list we need to store that information somewhere let us say we have another pointer and name it as next which is pointing at C and now we have the information of the remaining linked list as well and we can perform the same operation again and again to reverse the complete linked list now let us make this example more clear by dry running it ok so let us say initially we have previous as null current pointing at head and next pointing at head next so we have current here and next here and by performing this operation we will get a link between 1 and null and this link will be lost now we will make our previous point to the current node because the next link which we are required to make is between 2 and 1 for that the current should now point to node 2 and previous should point to node 1 we will make previous as current current will point to next and next will become next next so previous is now pointing to node 1 current is pointing at node 2 and next is pointing at node 3 we will again perform this operation and we will get a node between 2 and 1 and because of that this link will be lost again we will perform the same operations these three and now the previous will point at node 2 current will point at node 3 next will point at node 4 again we will repeat this operation and we will get a link between 3 and 2 this link will be lost 
we will perform the same three operations previous is now pointing at node 3 current at node 4 and next at node 5 again we will perform the same operation we will get a link between 4 and 3 this link will be lost and now previous will become this current at 5 and next at null we will perform the same operation and we will get a link between 5 and 4 we will lose this link so now as you can see we cannot perform this operation now because it will give an error to us so to handle that case what we can do we can execute the loop which we are using to perform these operations until we get next as null that is the condition to execute the while loop will be while next because of which as soon as next point to null we will come out of the loop and we will have a link list like this current is still pointing at 5 and previous is pointing at node 4 so now finally coming out of the loop we will have to perform the same operation once again and finally we will get the required reversed link list so now let's try to code the solution if you are able to understand the solution coding part is fairly easy so as I said earlier we will need three pointers previous which is initially null then we will need a current pointer which will be pointing to head in the beginning then we will need a next pointer which will be pointing to next of head in the beginning also we need to handle the case when head is having no next pointer that is the next pointer of head is pointing at null or the case where head is null that is if we are having a single node or if we are not having a head at all we do not need to reverse it so we can handle that case here if head is null or the next pointer of head is null we can simply return the head now let's come back to the solution so the condition for the while loop is while next so now we have to perform this operation first and then these three steps so current next will be pointing to previous previous will become current current will point to next and next will become next of next and after coming out of this loop we have to perform the same operation once again current next is equal to previous and finally we need to return current let us try to run the solution and let us try to submit yeah so the solution is working perfectly fine the space and time complexity of the solution is big of one because here we are traversing the complete list and also we are storing complete list using these pointers now let us try to solve this problem recursively for that you are required to be familiar with the recursive functions how they are stacked up in the memory and how the functions are being called now let's consider this example let us suppose that we are getting a reverse link list up to node 2 by calling a function reverse list which is returning a reverse link list so let us say we are storing that in a link list named as answer and what we are getting is this list to reverse this link list completely we also need to reverse this link which is present between 1 and 2 we know that currently head is pointing at 1 and head's next is pointing at node 2 and we are having a link between 1 and 2 now to reverse this link we can do it by performing this step that way we will get a link between 2 and 1 because head's next is 2 and head is 1 
so finally we will get a reversed linked list because we already had this linked list reversed up to 2 and by performing this step we have reversed the complete linked list and we also need to take care that heads next is still pointing at 2 this can give an error for that we also have to perform heads next is equal to null this step and finally what we will get will be the reverse linked list let us try to code the solution things will become more clear once I code it so first we need to handle the corner cases if head is null or the next pointer of head is null we need to return head in that case otherwise we'll need to store the reverse linked list in a linked list answer by passing heads next to the recursive function then we will need to perform the two steps make the next pointer of heads next node as head and the next pointer of head as null and finally return the answer let's try to run the code and now let's try to submit it yes so it is giving us the right answer now let's understand the recursive calls which we are making so initially we are having this linked list the first call will be made by passing the next pointer of head that is the linked list starting with the node 2 now this will land again in this function and it will call the same function by passing its next pointer which is 3 so again it will call the same function by passing the next pointer of 3 which is 4 and finally we will have 5 in the recursive function now the function will hit the statement and it will return head which is 5 so this function will return 5 back to the recursive function and here currently we will have 5 in our answer after performing this step there will be a link between 5 and 4 and after performing this step we will get a link list like this and we are returning that answer so the returned link list will be like this so now after coming to this function in our answer we have 5 linked with 4 and now we will perform these two steps and there will be a link from 4 to 3 so we will return this linked list back to the function and here we will have this list in our answer currently and then we will perform the same two steps and we will get a link between 3 and 2 and we will return this list back to the function finally we will come back to the first function and we will perform the same two steps again and then we will get a link between 2 and 1 so we will get a list which is reversed now and we will return that as our answer so this was it for the problem the time complexity for this solution is because of n because we are calling the recursive function for each and every node and the space complexity is big of 1 because we are not using any extra space to store the linked list. Thank you.